Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to set up your Apple Watch on your new iPhone. New iPhone 10 just came out recently and I was thinking of upgrading. While mulling over this decision, it occurred to me I wasn't sure how that would impact my Apple Watch. Through my research, I found out some useful tips I wanted to share with everyone to help make the transition to the new iPhone as quick and painless as I could for everybody, as I learned it's helpful to do a couple things in advance of upgrading to make the transition as easy as possible. First, I'd like to note that Apple does have a website that outlines what you should do. I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you need more details and have any questions I don't address in this video. The first step is to make sure your current iPhone is up to date running the newest version of iOS. This is actually pretty easy. If you're not sure how to determine this, just go to Settings, then General, and then Software Update. It will tell you if you're up to date or need to actually update. Once you know your iPhone is running the newest version of iOS, then step two is to back up your iPhone. You can back up to iCloud or iTunes on a computer. If you use iTunes to back up, remember to encrypt your backup to save your health and activity content. I'm going to show you how to back up to iCloud as it's quite quick and painless. First, go to settings on your iPhone, then your name, usually the first option. Then select your iPhone, then choose iCloud backup. The second option in this menu allows you to manually back up now. The first option allows you to automatically back up. This usually runs once a day. At the bottom, it tells you when the last successful backup occurred. If this isn't very recent, I would recommend running the backup manually so you have the most up-to-date information available for your new iPhone. The third step is to set up your new iPhone. When asked if you have an iCloud or iTunes backup, choose your most recent backup to restore your data from your old device to your new one. During the setup process, keep your Apple Watch close to your new iPhone so your new iPhone will ask if you want to use your Apple Watch with it. When it does, press continue, and after setup, you can start using your Apple Watch with the new iPhone. If for some reason the setup of your new iPhone didn't ask you about your Apple Watch, then you may need to unpair it from your old iPhone and manually pair it to the new one. If the old iPhone is no longer available, then you will need to erase your Apple Watch and repair it as a new watch with a new iPhone. But at least you will be able to restore the Apple Watch after this from the iCloud backup we did earlier, so you shouldn't lose any information. It will just be a pain as it takes a while to restore the Apple Watch. If you run into any issues, please refer to the Apple support website I've linked in the description below as it does cover the majority of issues you could run into. But for most, this should be a pretty painless process provided you have a recent iCloud backup and have your Apple Watch close to the new iPhone as you go through the setup. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.